<laughs> if you're under 13, piss off. Hello YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Angry Dave. I'm your host, Pablo Escobar. Here today with a slash over tray, a stack of wheels, a can of pink spray paint, and a glass of triple sec on the rocks, because I'm running out of booze. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up the slash custom builds. First thing we're going to do is paint the wife's trucks over tray and wheels. Uh, we're going to paint the beadlock rings this color pink and we're going to do some some paint graphics on the over tray here to kind of match the truck. We're going to leave it largely clear through the middle section here so we can look in and see if there's any kind of problems uh, without having to rip the over tray off while we're running things like that. So uh, let's bust out some masking tape and uh, get to work. Alright so a little bit of a change of plan. Um, the wife's birthday is coming up pretty soon and uh, masking these glued tire beadlock rings uh, is a real pain in the ass. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that bullshit. We'll uh, paint the over tray first and hopefully by the time that's done the uh, new wheels and tires will be here and then we can paint the beadlock rims, rings, I can't fucking talk. <coughs> oh Jesus. We can paint the beadlock rings separately and it'll be a whole lot easier. Wow that was fucking difficult. go and we got the lettering cut out in case you haven't figured out the wife named this truck Rosie and uh, the graphics cut out so I'm just gonna run around the edges real quick and press them down to make sure we don't have any paint leak under the tape and uh, we'll go spray some pink on this motherfucker all right ready to head out and spray real quick tip when you're gonna paint something take the cap off the paint tape it to your shit nice handle to hold on to your thing while you spray 
makes life easier. Uh, Proline actually sells a suction cup one. Uh, I've never used it, so I don't know how well it works, but if the suction cup is worth a shit, I imagine it's pretty cool. Holy shit, that's pink. Well, I guess that means it'll match the rest of the truck just fine. So now I'm going to go ahead back out and back it with white, and then we'll move on to the next step of uh, fucking around with the mask. All right, so we got our fucking crazy fluorescent pink backed up with uh, PS1 white. Now uh, I'm going to let this dry for a minute, and then I'm going to cut a couple of uh, things away from the existing masking so that we can get a little uh, PS5 black in there. And then uh, we may even do a little bit of silver something in here, because I think there's some silver shit on the body too, so we can just tie all those colors together. Let me uh, dig through the paint, see if I got that, and uh, bust out the X-Acto knife. black painted, got it peeled, came out pretty good. <clears throat> it was a little bit on the rushed side, and I wasn't super worried about it being perfect because it is for a basher vehicle, but uh, it makes for a nice touch. We can still see inside it all the important shit. We can see the receiver box and the LED. We can see the speed control and its LED. We can see the servo. Uh, you know, if it melts, we'll be able to tell, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we go. The pinkification process is almost done. Um, all we got to do now is uh, hit the, the bead locks on the wheels and uh, call it a day. And there is that nuclear pink motherfucker all done. Figured I'd skip showing you spraying paint on the beadlock rings. It's nothing uh, super interesting. But there we go with a nice fresh set of Proline Split 6 beadlocks. Proline Badlands MX tires and foams. Rounds out the package that is pink beyond fucking words. But uh, that's what the wife wanted what the wife got there's one teeny tiny little touch that I'm getting for this truck that we don't have yet I'm not gonna say what it is for now let's start moving on to uh, my paint job so with mine we're gonna start out with the over tray as well um, the only difference is I don't have a stock body so we'll be doing an over tray and a body paint job um, somewhere in there I'll probably sneak in painting the wheels and gluing the tires on. So, Alright, because of the uh, paint job I'm doing on this vehicle, um, I named it Snot Rocket. That's not the whole, uh, let me see here. I wanted to move the word rocket after I uh, already made it, so we're going to get this traced onto the body. And then I'll put this on and put it where it needs to go and get that traced onto the body. But first, I'm going to grab the Lexan shears and cut this fucking thing out. And then we'll go wash it and then bust out the tape.
All right, let's peel it. and roll that one came out pretty good there are some uh, mistakes here and there but again basher not putting every ounce of effort into something that is just going to get the living shit beat out of it but it looks pretty cool for now and it should complement the rest of the paint job just uh, perfectly um, as you might have figured out the purple and green are going to be the main colors used on the body um, mainly going to be purple with the accenting done with that green. So I guess it's time to start laying that out.
All right, so we got the engine backed with chrome and got the chrome backed with black chrome becker. It's a little hard to see what's going on because the film's still on the outside of the body and I haven't put the decals on or anything yet, but we got a red distributor cap, spark plug wires, coil, coil wire, a couple of clamps, belt, just a few details to kind of bring it to life. It's a basher. Again, you don't want to go too crazy because you're just going to beat the shit out of it, but now it's time to peel all this masking off and shoot some purple. So here's what we got for wheels and tires. We got uh, for the rears, we got some Proline Badlands. For the front, we got the Proline four rib buggy tires. And for the wheels, we got J Concept StarTech Street Eliminator drag wheels, just because it's a great looking fucking wheel. 
and we're going to be painting it with this uh, chrome wannabe shit um, which doesn't look chrome but it does look uh, it, it pulls off a pretty convincing polished aluminum so that's kind of the look we're going for and uh, I guess that'll get the job done I've done it with a few other things and it looks pretty good so first thing we're going to do is take the tires and scrub them get all the releasing agent uh, off them make sure they're nice and clean and then thoroughly dried then we're going to get the foams back in them get them mounted on the rims and we're going to get them so that they're um, well, I'm not going to yank it off here one-handed, but so make it so that they're mounted on the rim, but inside the channel that they're supposed to ultimately sit in so that we can mask the, mask the wheel and spray it with the tire already on it. That way, when we go to glue the tire, we don't have to try to mount the tire over a freshly painted rim and handle it and fuck the paint all up. We should be able to just glue the channel, drop the tire in it, call it a day and the thing will look fucking brandy new and perfect. So there they are, finally fucking done. It took for goddamn ever. I'm so glad this fucking project's over. Rosie, all pink as fuck. Snot rocket. Looking kind of vintage, 80s RC buggy. But also a little hot rod. I like the way it came out. Pretty happy with it. So we're going to have to get them out and get them fucking dirty. They look pretty good. I'm running no bumper on uh, on the bug. <clears throat> I got the RPM motor protector on this side, and I put another one on this side and just flipped it upside down to protect the tranny case. And, of course, we got a pair of fucking danglers. Um, I wanted to do something on the back of the wife's car, too, but it just didn't seem like a good idea to hang a pair of fucking nuts off the back of it so i came up with this feels appropriate to me there you go except my danglers don't swing anymore because they're not hanging off the bumper so just imagine them doing that too <laughs> if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button leave us a comment Check us out on our social media pages. Check out our website. And we'll see you next time on Adult RC, where grown-up time is playtime. Oh, yeah, real quick. We just finished one for the kid, too. She's getting old enough to handle faster trucks. So uh, check this shit out. There we go. Got a slash, custom painted body, pro line fluorescent fuchsia and the decals are off my red cat 64 i didn't use them i got the purple version so they fit this perfect i built this entire truck from stock spare parts that i had laying around from all the slashes that i've modified i had to buy a few things but not much <laughs> so there we go that's another fucking slash to add to the collection got two more fucking ready to race and uh once again we'll see you next time on adult rc where grown-up time is playtime